Hey, this is Papa Danko to Beyond the Barricade. I got my very special guest, Lauren Spiral and Eris Rain. How you guys doing? Good. Doing all right. All right, let's get down to the first question. Down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> For both of you, what inspired you to be a wrestler? I gotta say, uh, when I was younger, watching it with my mom, and always when I was uh, when I was watching, I was like, "Ooh, I want to be like that." I knew I was never gonna be the biggest guy, mm -hmm. but then you know, you don't have to be the biggest guy. Though. Yeah, they like to portray that. I look at Daniel Bryan, though, the <laughs> champion. I wish I looked like him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I grew up watching it as well with my family, so it's always been a thing at the house. And uh, when I got introduced to the independent scene and seeing these girls like me doing all this, and it was just, it looked like it could be a big confidence boost. So it was more a confidence thing for me. And it's, I stuck with it. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Lawrence, this one's for you. Where did you come up with the mask that you wear? Now, how do you get the smoke to come out? <laughs> so you're making me tell, you're making me tell them my secret. Uh, I came yeah. up with the mask because it's in, the, it's a very old style steampunk. Mm -hmm. And with the smoke, now that everybody's gonna know, I take a vape, a hold vape it pen. in, a vape pen. I hold it in and then I blow it through the reset. Don't smoke. Yeah, don't, don't smoke, smoke, kids. kids. This is actually no nicotine or anything right, like right, that. Right. No so. nicotine. It's just for the look. Gotcha. And everybody likes the smells. <laughs> really? Tonight it's fun dip and strawberry milkshake. Fun dip and strawberry milkshake tonight. That's awesome. Yep. Eris, what do you think of the women's evolution in this day and age? And how do you feel you can contribute to it? I feel like the women's division, like as a whole, it's showing that women can do it as well. Can do anything a man can do. So it's like kind of like an equality kind of thing. Right. Like how now I'll throw Nia Jax out even though apparently it's a bad name to throw out. She's not the skinny girl. She's the big girl, like how I am. And it's not like, it shows... You don't have to be a twig to get this done. But I feel like the women's division, it's going fantastic. And it's showing that women can do exactly what men can do. What I want to contribute to it is, I want to show that it, like with someone like anxiety and things like that, it's a great outlet. It's a great confidence boost. You meet amazing people doing it. That's how I met him. And just... <laughs> That's the main thing is just letting you be yourself. Right. That's the main thing that I put out there. And that's one thing I would definitely want to do is just not to be afraid of yourself. Don't be afraid to be yourself. That goes for anybody. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Yeah. Lawrence, who, which wrestler would you like to face next I had that to you haven't faced? If I had to choose who I'd want next, I really want Mr. Tibbs. Mr. Tibbs. I watched him when I was younger when I used to come to BPW. Really? Yeah. Started coming here when I was 13. Really? Yes. Wow. Still looks the same, but I think we just have a really good match together. He's got his personality, I got my personality. Right. Why not? You hear that, Mr. Tips? Challenge me for you. Same with you, Eris. Who would you like to face next? I gotta go for Masha. She's Masha. on with the belt right now. I, I, think it, I think it would look good around my waist. She's a very confident champion. Oh, absolutely. Like, I, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I love her confidence. Uh -huh. I love that she has that passion. But she's full of herself. That ego's gonna get to her. So I feel like that's going to get the best of her. My my good friend Ariella is going against her tonight for the belt, okay, for the belt. which beat her ass. <laughs> Whoa, but you did not say that. I'm sorry, beat her butt, I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, but I would definitely go against Masha for that belt at the moment. Masha for the belt. Okay, cool. Uh, this is a question for both of you. What would you guys like to accomplish in any arena, any division, anywhere else? Any ring, any promotion. Can I go first for this one? You go ahead. All right. I want to wrestle in in the thousands. I haven't wrestled in the thousands yet, so I would love to go in front of a big crowd right. and just show that women can do what they can do. Mine would be kind of like the same thing. I wrestle in front of a big crowd, but I want to wrestle in like a stadium. That was like always my like dream. Right. I and had one chance. The, and out of the it. country. That's oh, you had the chance. You got some. I was uh, actually going to wrestle at City Fields. Really? Well, what was going on that day? That was big time wrestling. 
Oh, big time wrestling. Yeah. I, also, I also want to wrestle out of the country. Out of the country, yeah, that would be an experience, right? For both of you guys. Too much money. Too yeah. much money. <laughs> but one day. One day. One day. Yeah, when I strike the, when I strike the lotto. <laughs> Tell me the numbers. He wins the lotto, he's going to How did you train to be a wrestler? Lawrence and Harris. First, you want me to go first? I'm pointing at my answer. <laughs> I started eight years ago with Fight the World Wrestling. I walked in, little kid that wanted to be a wrestler. Walked up to my trainer, Earl Cruder, shook his hand, he's like, you want to be a wrestler? I was like, yes. And ever since then, never stopped. I started out like everybody else does, in the fancies, and I met him at one of the shows. And when we got to know each other more, I said I wanted to do this. And wait, 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 wait. You uh, guys met when you were a fan? Yes. She watched me at an old company. <laughs> old name? Old name. I did a backflip outside the ring and she liked my look. I was like, what What look? I'm, oh. I didn't know his real name for three months. Really? Three months. Your real name's Lawrence. Stop. That's yeah, nice. but at the time you went by John. We don't talk about that. <laughs> but um, but we were talking more, and I thought, you know what? Let me try this. I always wanted to do it when I was a kid. And we, he was my trainer, and I made my debut about a year later or so at um, a company that shall not be named because it no longer exists. But the biggest support that I had was him, and he was my trainer. He still is my trainer, and that was what how I started. Awesome. The couple that does everything together. Couple that does everything. Yeah, you guys do everything together. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi. Let's go on with the questions. Anyway. All right, next question, guys. <laughs> what is your favorite all-time wrestler? Ooh, easy. You go ahead. Lita. Lita. Lita, Lita, Lita. She was my favorite ever since I was a kid. Because I hated being the girly girl. She was the first person I ever saw that was the complete tomboy. She was very tough, yeah. Oh, I used to try and save money for the trip pants just so I could wear the pants like her. Right. And I finally got to see her in person for the first time, and I was so excited, really? which was great. Um, mine would have to be Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock, okay. Because of his mixed martial arts background. I did 20 years of mixed martial arts. And he wasn't, when he was growing up, he was the smallest guy. Picked on. I was bullied when I was a kid. So when I watched him, I was like, oh, I could be like him. I just don't snap like him. <laughs> wow, I hear he's come back. What's that? Uh, that'd be really cool. That'd be cool. All right, what has been both your best fan interactions? All right, and this one company that I will not name because yes, it is not around, but this little girl, I was in a rumble. I got thrown out, out of the rumble, and she cried hysterically at me. Right. And I went up to her after the show, and she was like, are you okay? Are you okay? I was like, I'm fine, honey. And she goes, oh my God, my boyfriend got hurt. And she comes to a lot of my shows. This little girl named Savannah. Shout out to Savannah. Savannah. Still carries on my old flag that I used to come out with. Really? And every time I see her, big hug. That is awesome. You get Facebook yeah. messages from her all the time with little videos. Really? It makes, it makes you feel very nice. That's awesome. Um, what about you, Aris? There, I'm going to go with here. Here, um, okay. There was, I, I have a big heart for people on the special needs spectrum and all that. And there's this one group that comes here all the time. And they are such super hearts. But there's this one boy that comes with his dad. And every time he sees me, he has to come over to his side, gives me a hug. And it's like, you know what, this is why I do what I do. Because, personal, I have a little brother with autism. And I always go in the ring being like, I'm doing this for him. Right. And just, I have a big heart for that. Yes. Right, so what has been the best fan interaction you've had? Um, at BPW, there's this one boy who is on the autism spectrum that comes with his dad. Right. Every time he sees me going out in the ring, he gets so excited and always waves. And when I go out to my hand, he waves my hand. Aww. And then when we do our meet and greet, right. he always has to come and give me a hug, say hi, speak sign language to me, which I actually understand. Because on a personal note, my little brother has autism. So it's, it's something close to my heart, especially like seeing the fans that come here. 
that have the uh, disabilities and everything, and then they're just having a great time. It, it's something close to my heart, and that's one of my favorites. That is awesome. All right, last question for the favorite couple of you. <laughs> that's right. What does the future hold for Lawrence and Eris? <laughs> looks like it's marriage, folks. Yes. That's right. Halloween next year. Halloween 2019. Will it be a monster mash? It'll be a graveyard smash. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no. one question I've been getting is if I'm changing the last name. Oh. You'll just have to find a, out. Maybe Eric Spiral? I don't know. <laughs> it does have a nice ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll just have to come here and find out. That's you it. have to come to BBW and find out. Anything else? I want to say before we close out? Huh? Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New holidays. Year. Happy holidays. I'm ready to wrestle. All yeah. right. They're ready to go. And uh, thank you for being on the show. Thanks for having yeah. us. And uh, see you next time. Stay tuned.